Hello again. Welcome to our third and final lesson, where you will get some practical insights into how to really work actively with hyperspectral data in an agricultural context yourself. Let's do some hands-on training. I'm sure you're all curious to learn how to apply the knowledge you've gained so far. To do so, we will use the free and open source Nmap toolbox, a plugin for QGIS that was built within the Nmap project. We will be using the agricultural apps that were actually designed by your instructors, the colleagues at LMU, to learn how to retrieve quantitative, biophysical, and agriculturally relevant aerial information from hyperspectral data, even without having in situ data available. To do so, we first generate a synthetic training dataset. Of course, a well reasoned distribution of the variables in the training dataset must be considered. The training dataset is then used within the Vegetation Processor tool to train an Artificial Neural Network, or ANN for short. This ANN will then be applied to an airborne hyperspectral image to generate spatial maps for several variables, like LAI, chlorophyll content, leaf mass area, and average leaf angle. This exercise concludes with a validation of the results using selected in situ measurements. We will then discuss the retrieval accuracy and limitations for different variables.